Big Fat American Gypsy premiere starts Sunday at 8 on TLC. From the moment Bride Kiera and her former pageant coach Reggie set foot in the salon, playing nice wasn't part of his plan. You gotta be friends with me today. Actually, no. Getting him to greenlight a gown has turned into a bridal battle of wills. Turn around, go back, let's try another. I love the dress, I think it's a gorgeous dress. Wouldn't be caught dead in this dress. I like it, it's pretty. This is not the dress for her. Kiera loves this dress. But I'll admit it, I want this pompous pageant coach to love it too. It's time to jack her up. <gasps> it's beautiful! I love it! Reggie, what do you think? I'm speechless. When I finally see Kiara jacked up, I'm thrilled. It's almost like I'm watching Cinderella and everything coming together and finally. Reggie loves it, so I'm in heaven right now. So, Kiara, are you gonna say what to this dress? I'm gonna say yes! Yay! <laughs> now I can just imagine myself walking down the aisle in this dress. The wow factor of that dress speaks to everything I wanted in the dress for Kiara. But I'm prone to believe this dress didn't come from any of these rooms here because I know I scoured these rooms very carefully. A lady never reveals her secrets. While Reggie is left scratching his head, six weeks later, Bride Gretchen is ready to reveal her one-of-a-kind creation. It's perfect. I am thrilled to get married. <laughs> When I see Gretchen for the first time, I'm probably going to be stunned. I'll probably cry a little bit. You give and you receive these rings, a symbol of enduring loyalty. I therefore confirm Gretchen and Walter, husband and wife. Mazel <laughs> tov! It feels absolutely fantastic to be married. I absolutely got my dream wedding. I got my dream wife. Finding the perfect wedding dress can be a battle of wills. But when Lori and the team call a truce, the bride will enjoy a peaceful day of wedded bliss. Tonight on Something Borrowed, Something New, a young bride stands up for modesty. I don't need to be showing all of this. And won't change her mind for Sam. Ah! I feel so naked. Or Kelly. Uh, I don't know. I really, I don't know. It makes me nervous. Cover the shoulders, cover the cleavage. I mean, hello! But will she be able to stand up to her loved ones? This dress really? is hideous. <sighs> Wearing your mom's wedding gown can be a joy. Or it can be a giant bridal don't. My job? Transform that family heirloom and make it wedding worthy. My job? Find a new gown that's yours and yours alone. Two dresses, one decision. Will it be something borrowed? Or something new. I'm Sam, it's nice to meet Hi. you. Lauren arrives seeking an extremely modest look for her wedding dress. My name's Lauren Domine and I'm 25 years old. We're really happy to have you guys today. I want to hear about the feeling of your wedding, what you want people to see as your theme. And I want it to be that vintage feel, mason jars, lace doilies. I'm getting married in a Catholic church, so I want it to be beautiful, classic, and elegant. How do you want to walk down the aisle? I see myself as that classic Catholic church bride, the train, the lace, and also modest. Modest meaning no cleavage, no skin. I don't need to be showing all of this <laughs> and all of that. She's changed a lot. She went back to church. She's become more traditional in life, and that is coming forward in her choice of a wedding dress. I like the A-line look where I can't even like really see my hips. I just like the tiny waist look. Shoulders Shoulder covered? Something maybe like this. Mom, tell us how you feel about your daughter looking maybe modest on her wedding. Well, with Lauren's figure, she can pull off being a little bit sexy. A little cleavage, something in the back, a little scoop. But she's adamant about not having that. Is that your style or is that, are you, ah, you're a sexy mama, huh? Uh, <laughs> maybe in the day, but. <laughs> Lauren's style is classic and simple, whereas my style is a little more funky, hippie looking. 
I want to hear about your fiance. My fiance's name is Daniel, and he's from Slovakia. But he's so nice, and he treats me like a little princess. Daniel asked me to marry him on a private beach, and I said Ano, which is yes in Slovakian. He's just the greatest thing that's happened to me. So what does it mean to you that your daughter wear your dress? It would mean a lot. It's from my second wedding. The first marriage ended in shambles. The second marriage has been wonderful, and I'm hoping to have the good luck of the dress pass forward to Lauren. Lauren, what does your stepfather mean to you? I'm going to start crying. Um, I just never really had a dad for, you know, my first part of my life. He never, ever played the stepdad role. He was always my dad. Lauren was a bridesmaid in my wedding, and she loves her stepdad so much. The dress wasn't real important to me, but now that we've been together so long, it's become very important to me. I think she really wants me to wear her dress. Why don't you bust it out? Let's take a look. All right, here we go. Da, 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 da. Mom's second wedding knit tank dress stuns everyone. Well, I think I found the doilies for your wedding. <laughs> uh, yeah, it has a little bit of shimmer in it, which it is sure a little does. odd. It's very like B. <laughs> Arthur in Golden Girls. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's a, it's a beautiful second wedding dress. It's simple and it's it very is. pretty. I'm sure you look beautiful. I'm teasing. I mean, I'm baffled. We're taking a simple tank dress yes. and turning it exactly. into a Catholic wedding <laughs> full train. I don't know if this is possible. It's not a wedding dress. It is a crochet tank dress that she got at a beach boutique. I'm going to go to church and light a candle for Kelly in this dress, <laughs> and I will see you guys later <laughs> when we too. do some shopping. So let's get to my studio. I'll show you some design ideas, right. and we'll go from there. Lauren's mind is set on the modest look for her wedding day. Your daughter wants a conservative dress for her big day. Now, does this change what you're going to wear to her wedding? Well, she's given me the limits of what I can wear and what I can't wear. I can't wear my long, dangly earrings. I have to wear pearls. So, yes, I've had to talk. Well, I think it's time to see this dress. I'm excited. Lauren, are you ready? Yep. Show us your 90s dress. What do you think? You like it? Wow. <laughs> All right, Lauren, I want you to go to the mirror and tell me what you like about the dress. Okay. I like the color. I don't mind a lot of the pattern. I mean, it fits me like a pillowcase, maybe? Kelly won't rest until this knit pillowcase becomes Lauren's dream of a wedding dress. Well, this is an interesting project for me. <laughs> I still want you to look like a young bride and have your conservative aspect. I'm giving you your A-line that you want, okay? Mm -hmm. The mesh is going to be a little caplet sleeve, so that'll give you the coverage that you want. And the back, I want to create a deep V, and then the skirt. The whole back. We're not done yet. Okay. <laughs> uh -oh. Keep an open mind. Cover the shoulders, cover the cleavage. I mean, hello, you're 20-something years old and you're covering everything up. Uh. What are you feeling right now? I don't know. I really, I don't know. It's just, I, it makes me nervous, that's all. Because I don't want it to be, like, showing too much. I think it, it'll turn out really nice. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. I can envision what, what you're saying. You're an artist now? <laughs> no, but... <laughs> I definitely don't want to discredit Kelly, but she definitely has her work cut out for her on this one. I love the flowers, but you know there's not a whole lot to do with them except to <gasps> cut them out. <laughs> You want me to hold one side? Mom, I love that you're on board oh, with this. Oh my gosh. That is awesome. I'm not crying. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. All of a sudden, when she starts cutting, it just hit me like a ton of bricks, saying, this is real, you need to find a dress. Coming up, dress shopping with Sam sends Lauren running for cover. Oh, ah! I feel so naked now. Well, you would wear a necklace. No. Oh, <laughs> really? Minute Maid Pure Squeeze Light has half the sugar and calories of OJ with great taste. I mean, who doesn't want to cut calories and look better naked? You roll around in your birthday suit all day. You're not even wearing a produce sticker. No oh, full moon! You guys will blur that out, right? 
Minute Maid Pure Squeeze Light. Tastes so good, you'll never believe it's half the sugar and calories of OJ. Put good in, get good out. No actual grandparents were harmed in the making of this film. Call me Artie. Can I call you Farty? Except him. <gasps> Get parental guidance this Tuesday. We'll cause laughter, good times, and family fun. This TLC program is sponsored in part by Target. Expect more, pay less. Our house is a very, very, very fine house With two cats in the yard Life used to be so hard Now everything is easy because of Farmers presents 15 seconds of smart. So you want to protect your place from burglars? Buy a lock. Buy a dog. Call the law. Get a sign. Hang curtains. Plant something thorny. Buy another lock. And of course, talk to farmers. Hi. Hi. We are farmers. Bum, ba, da, bum, 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 bum. I know taxes, the ins and outs, and how to get things done. We know and we understand tax laws, tax theories, corporate returns, partnerships, LLCs. You can bring me any tax problem and I will deal with it. I don't care how complicated it is. In fact, the more complicated, the better. We're here to get done what you need done. Nothing scares me. I've helped thousands of people and I can help you. Just bring it on. That's what we do for our clients. We figure it out. As careful as we are, our carpets are going to get dirty. Even mine, and I'm part of the Bissell family. Our Bissell Deep Cleaner has a removable spot cleaner for hard to reach areas. The Liftoff Deep Cleaner from Bissell, home to a deeper clean. Daily Burn is all about variety. Kickboxing, dancing, kettlebells, yoga, Pilates, body weight movements. I'm never bored with Daily Burn. And the hardest thing about going to the gym is going to the gym. Well, Daily Burn has brought it to you. You can do it on your laptop, on your phone, on your tablet, your TV. And who wants to spend hundreds of dollars on a trainer? One session with a trainer will cover a year of Daily Burn. Sign up in minutes and start transforming your body. It's free to try for 30 days, but this is a limited time offer. So go to dailyburn.com right now. We love our pets, and we want the very best for them. That includes their medications, but it doesn't mean we have to overpay. That's why we always order from 1-800-PET-MEDS. We get the same exact brand name meds as the vet, and shipping is fast and free. And now, protect your pets and save an additional 10% on flea and tech topicals. Why pay more? Get everything you need at 1-800-PET-MEDS. Call now or visit 1-800-PETMEDS.com. Profile. Sunday, a big fat TLC premiere. With all gypsy girls, it's like competition. Oh, it's not easy marrying a gypsy. They're bigger. Push. Better. You mess with my daddy, I'm ready to kill. Oh, I'll never be her mother in law. And Sunday, they're back. Oh. You're a gypsy and I'm a gypsy, and I love you. Anything can happen tonight. The big fat American gypsy premiere starts Sunday at 8 on TLC. What's up? Lauren's request for a modest gown isn't shared by her entourage, but with his $1,500 budget, Sam will try to please everyone. Who have you brought with you today? This is my sister, Sabrina. I'm bringing my sister, my maid of honor, because she tells it like it is. And one of my bridesmaids, Emily, because she's already been married and she knows exactly what to look for in a wedding dress. What do you hope to see your best friend in? Something sexy, form-fitting, tight. What she said. The same thing for you? <laughs> Yes. Right. Mom, talk to me. I want her to show off her figure, point blank. My mom can say she wants me to dress sexy and out there till she's blue in the face, but it's not going to happen ever. All right, Lauren, describe your ultimate dress for me. I am modest in my clothing. So it would be lacy, it would have a little bit of sleeve to cover the shoulder, and I want it to be A-line. I love that a young girl in today's day just wants to be very traditional. And the sex appeal will come in with a beautifully fitted dress. I'm going to take our gorgeous bride and uh, pick out some dresses. Sam might have a hard time because I don't know if they make that type of conservative dress nowadays. Well, what if she ends up going with something more traditional? Like a ball gown or something? Like a ball yeah. gown. Uh, uh. <laughs> we don't want that. 
Okay, ladies, this is kind of princessy. There's a lot of sparkle and a little bit of modesty. Why don't you come on out, Lauren, and show us your dress? You guys aren't saying anything. No. It's just, Why? Too, it's just too much on the top. Lauren has a great figure, so showing a little skin would be great for her. It's so baggy. It's not like it's even A-line. It's just baggy. I kind of like it. You look like a princess. I can move. I like it, though. <laughs> this dress has pockets. It is the perfect thing for this fidgety bride. This is a strapless A-line princess-style dress in Duchess satin. And this gives you the impression of lace. Let us see the back. Turn. Ooh, I like that V-neck back. Let me explain to you what I did. This jacket. Oh, it's a jacket. I reversed. So this is the back of the jacket. And I buttoned oh. it in the back to give you the minimal neckline that you wanted. And what's cool about it is you could choose to be this person at your church and then another person at your reception. You can oh, order... Wait, wait, just wait, just wait. Uh, this needs to know. Dude, uh, relax, 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 relax. Right. I feel so naked now. Well, you would wear a necklace. Oh, <laughs> really? I thought this dress would be kind of the compromise for everybody. Have her modesty, but have a little sex appeal too. I'm gonna try and find the compromise between the two, but we have to remember who's getting married. It's a contender. Come with me. On a scale of one to 10, how did you really like it? I would give it like a four. I know she doesn't want fit and flair. She wants A-line, but it was just too baggy. All right, my friends, this dress is trying to please everybody. We've got lace, we've got a lot of train, and we've got a little bit of shape. <gasps> yes. I love the tails in this dress. I love the lace straps, and it's perfect. This dress is a fit and flare, but then it kicks out at the bottom in a very full way. These are called godets, and it's like a little kind of opening in the dress. There's pleated tulle, then you have another layer, and then you have like a silk satin, and then you have a gorgeous petticoat with lace. Oh, <laughs> There's a lot. Goodness. There's a lot going on in this dress. I like that it's a little more youthful. I like that we can see some skin. I like that we're showing your arms I'm in a like, good way. I feel a little bare, though. <laughs> what do you think? I love it. I think it's gorgeous. I like it. You do? Mm hmm I wanted Lauren in a sexy wedding dress, but this dress is winning me over. Oh, it does make her cry! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I want to make you weep. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen her cry in my whole life. Really? Okay. More dresses to try. I am nervous that she might lean towards a, a new dress, but I'm definitely rooting for my dress. I have faith in Kelly. Kelly is a miracle worker, but turning a knit dress into a church gown is stretching even her mighty imagination. I basically have to build Lauren a brand new dress. I want to give her a sweetheart neckline while still keeping it modest, but I'm struggling to find a way to incorporate her mom's dress. And then all of a sudden it dawns on me. I can cut the flowers out of this dress and make three-dimensional flowers and sew them on. I generally like to keep the integrity of the dress, but in this case, the integrity comes from the meaning. All right, ladies of the entourage, this dress is so modest, she might as well be wearing a turtleneck and a parka. All right, Lauren, why don't you come out and show us this dress? <gasps> wow, you hit on all the, on everything she was asking for. Let me tell you why I chose this dress. The lace is very dense, and you can see that it's running in vertical stripes, so it kind of elongates you the same way a stripe would. And the modesty of it is a little fashion forward, so it's actually kind of cool. Yeah. See, I'm not a grandma. I personally think she looks like a grandma. She's going a little too modest. Like, I don't, I don't like, like the mesh up top. There's too much going on. I'm worried that she's going to pick this dress because she seems to like it so much, but it doesn't look good on her. Oh, it's so pretty. Lauren held her ground and stuck with her plans for a modest dress. Now all she has to do is pick one of these three gorgeous gowns as her something new. Our beautiful bride has chosen her something new. Lauren, please come out and show us your dress. <laughs> Lauren has chosen the demure lace gown with layers of tulle and satin, perfect for her church wedding. This is it. There is no question. <laughs> I think Lauren proved the point that a little bit of modesty is better in a wedding dress. 
Lauren is thrilled with her choice, but Kelly is determined to give her another perfect option, if that's possible. My brain is freaking out right now. Lauren wanted a lace dress, but if I took a new lace and I tried to incorporate it with the old lace of her mother's dress, it would look absolutely hideous. I'll use her mom's lace for applique flowers, but it's not going to be a lace dress, and I'm afraid that Lauren may hate it. Coming up. Have you guys seen Mom's Dress? Looks like something you can find in a retirement home. I cannot even imagine that it's going to be beautiful. <laughs> it would make a great pair of Spanx. <laughs> Listen up. Each year, hundreds of promising research studies go unfunded for breast cancer, for lung cancer, every cancer. The American Cancer Society has been behind nearly every breakthrough in recent history. But there's still more work to do. So let's make sure that no research is silenced. Let's make noise. Let's make noise. Yeah. And let's finish the fight. The images you're about to see may be difficult to look at. Sadly, every year millions of innocent cakes are mangled, mistreated, and hurt. But there is something you can do. Go to the freezer section and pick up new Cool Whip Frosting. It's whipped fluffy and perfectly sweet so it spreads on easily leaving cakes unharmed please help cool whip frosting together we can change the way cakes are frosted it's macy's hot list sale get spring's top 10 must-haves with special purchases from our hottest brands like this tommy hilfiger shirt dress now 49.99 City sandals from Nine West and Naturalizer, only $59.99. Men's designer dress shirts and sports shirts, just $39.99. And Nine West shoppers, only $39.99. Make your list. Get the hottest looks of the season from the best brands. Plus, get free shipping at Macy's.com. Mastering irresistibly smooth. Taste the Lindor truffle. Created with passion by Lynx Master Chocolatiers like nothing you have ever experienced. When you break its shell, Lindor's smooth center starts to melt. And so will you. Smooth, flowing, luscious, chocolate beyond compare. Discover the Lindor Truffle from the Lint Master Chocolatiers. Sunday. At first I thought Jared was just gonna be something pretty to look at, but I kinda have a crush on him. Oh yeah. Love's blooming at the trailer park. And it's the most beautiful girl, woman, and Myrtle man. But not for everyone. Amanda is a drunken idiot. As much as you don't like being around us, we don't like being around you. Uh, I got her. Bring it. All new, welcome to Myrtle Manor. Sunday at 10 on TLC. Sunday. They're bigger. Push. Better. You mess with my daddy. I'm ready to kill. And back. Anything can happen tonight. The Big Fat American Gypsy yeah. premiere starts Sunday at 8 on TLC. Lauren stayed true to herself, and Sam found her a modest but beautiful lace gown. <gasps> yes. Now it's Kelly's turn to reveal her vision for Lauren. I know you guys had a great shopping trip with Sam, and I saw the gorgeous dress you got. And it made her cry. Oh my god. <laughs> and she's not a crier. I was crying too because I didn't know what the heck I was going to do with that dress. <laughs> I had a whole lot of nothing to work with, and now something beautiful is about to come on stage. But it all worked out because I feel like it's my best work to date. Really? Yes. Oh. I want to see the dress. Okay. Thank you. I'm excited, anxious, and nervous to see Kelly's dress. Have you guys seen Mom's dress? Looks like something you can find in a retirement home. I cannot even imagine that it's going to be beautiful. <laughs> I'm sorry. It would make a great pair of Spanx. But other than that, I don't know what you can do with that dress. Well, Lauren does not look like she came from the Golden Girls. <laughs> Lauren, please come out and you're something borrowed. Oh, wow. Oh. That is so different. <gasps> oh, oh, my wow. The knit lace for mom's dress has become iridescent rose appliques scattered on a taffeta ball gown. Can I go up to the mirror and look? <laughs> <laughs> ah, the house of little tails. <laughs> I love them. Holy cow, Kelly. <laughs>
<laughs> Lauren, I circled my studio for what felt like hours, trying to figure out what I was going to do with this dress. And what I wanted to do for you is make you something that you did feel like a princess in, in your Catholic church. So I cut out the flowers and made them a three-dimensional flower. I wanted to bring the top of this dress to life. And I knew there was going to be a lot going on the top, so I wanted to keep the bottom very simple and make the grandeur, the puffiness of the dress, and the long, beautiful train. And you've got a beautiful neckline. I still tried to keep it very modest at the bust. And I did all this for just over $600. Wow. It's crazy. I, I really cannot believe you did this. And these things are your dress, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're crying. Oh, yeah. Aww. It's beautiful. I'm going to cry. Uh-oh. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you look beautiful. It really is my dress. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren looks like a princess in this dress. You can really tell the little flowers did come from my dress. I love it. I like the A line on there. I like the little sparkle. Mom and Lauren are clearly moved by the dress, but the entourage still has some reservations. You don't like it? It's your dress. If you like it, then I like it. Kelly's dress is absolutely hideous. I don't know what to say. Emily doesn't like this dress, but it's not her wedding, it's mine. I think you look like a princess. I think it still shows some skin, but I think it's still covered up and, and modest. In this dress, you'll have a lot of success in your marriage because oh. it's got a little bit of mom in there. <laughs> and dad. Ah, oh, this is going to be so tough. Can I take both of them? <laughs> both Sam and Kelly have given Lauren dresses modest enough for church and modern enough for a young bride. Now it's up to Lauren to choose. I want my mom's dress because I love the fit and feel. It's beautiful and it's sentimental. And I want the new dress because it has the lace and it's equally as beautiful. I'm completely torn. Coming up. What do you think your mom would think if you didn't choose her dress? Why did she keep it for 18 years if she wasn't saving it for me? Next Friday. It was her grandmother's dress. It's her mother's dress. When it's out with the old. It does need some repair. And in with the new. How far will this mom go? I'll lie. <laughs> I'll lie. All new Something Borrowed, Something New at 10. Friday is Bride Day on TLC. What did the New York Deli guy say about Arby's Reuben before he tried Get it? Get out of here! And after? I think I'll have another bite. Arby's New York Style Reuben. Freshly sliced corned beef, sauerkraut, and Swiss cheese on rye. Or make it a double stack with twice the corned beef for your choice of turkey. Arby's. Slice it up freshness! Find what speaks to you at PeerOne.com. I used to find Easter challenging, but now I go to Payless. They have all the latest styles, always at great prices. They even measure my kids' feet. Save more at the Payless Family Easter Sale. Women starting at only $14.99, kids $9.99. Everybody loves to pay less. At Royal Caribbean, our ships are designed for a while. All this only on Royal Caribbean. Call 1 800 Royal Caribbean today. Finding the best house might take a little vision. How is this not small? This is going to be a money pit. Oh, I just can't even imagine. Every Wednesday night at 9, watch Property Brothers Jonathan and Drew. We need to do a renovation. Find a nice big corner lot here. And fix up. I can put all your must-haves into this place. The perfect oh, space. This is awesome. <gasps> this is unbelievable. Catch an all-new Property Brothers every Wednesday night at 9, only on HGTV. Gold Bond Men's Lotion makes me look so good, it should come with a warning label. New Gold Bond Men's Lotion. Skin strengthening proteins plus seven intensive moisturizers. Dry skin becomes healthy, good looking. New Gold Bond Men's Lotion. Man up with Gold Bond. The more cold symptoms you hit, the more you win. Sore throat, headache, multi symptoms, you win! Mucinex Fast Max Liquid relieves your worst cold symptoms with mucus busting power. <laughs> 
Mucinex in, mucus out. Mom's knit dress has become a classic ball gown and has created a tough choice for Lauren. I want my mom's dress because it's beautiful and it's sentimental. And I want the new dress because it has the lace and it's equally as beautiful. I'm completely torn. Lauren, you have a very big decision to make. So could you please step into our dressing room and come back out in your wedding dress? Here I go. All right. Ooh. Oh. What do you guys think it's going to be? I think Kelly's winning it. I have to disagree with her. I think she's going to choose your dress. The new dress is everything I have ever wanted and more. The details, the lace, but it would mean so much to my mom if I wore her dress. And I really, really like the flower bouquet on the back of the dress. This is a really hard decision, and I think I need Emily's help. Okay. What's wrong? Oh, I don't know. Ever since Daniel proposed, I was like, lace, 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 lace. And the sleeves, I mean, are really pretty. The other one, I love the way it moves. It just kind of swayed with me. I think that if we were in a bridal store, you would have been like, what the heck? This really? dress is hideous. What? I actually really like the shape, though. Really? Yeah. What do you think your mom would think if you didn't choose her dress? Why did she keep it for 18 years if she wasn't saving it for me? Hmm. I'm imagining walking down the aisle towards Daniel, and then it hits me. I know exactly which one it is. I love you. Me too. All right, guys, the time has come to see what Lauren has chosen. Will it be something borrowed? Or will Lauren say I do in something new? Lauren, please come out and show us your wedding dress. Lauren has chosen something new. A demure lace and tulle gown perfect for her church wedding. I'm so happy you picked oh, that. Oh, oh, are you, the are you crying on. too? Oh, how beautiful. You look like a princess. I knew that this was the dress she was supposed to walk down the aisle in. It fits my Catholic wedding so perfectly. I just feel like I can make my own history. You will. I love this dress on Lauren. She's right. A modest dress is more appropriate. Awesomeness! <laughs> oh my gosh! I love it. I love this dress. Well, cheers to you and your beautiful choice. Thanks. Congratulations. Thank you, Lauren. Thanks. Tonight on Something Borrowed, Something New, when Dad's not there to walk a bride down the aisle, my father passed away in 1990. Wearing mom's dress can be an emotional link to the past. <laughs> I think I'd look like that, it is. <laughs> and when that dress is nothing like a wedding gown. My brain is freaking out right now. What wedding dress comes with a jacket? It makes the choice between family and fashion nearly impossible. It's just so much more than a dress. Wearing your mom's wedding gown can be a joy. Or it can be a giant bridal don't. My job, transform that family heirloom and make it wedding worthy. My job, find a new gown that's yours and yours alone. Two dresses, one decision. Will it be something borrowed? Or something new? Hey, guys. Hi. Come on in. Hey. Hi, Kelly. How are you? <laughs> oh, we're Look great. Look how cute you are. Bridget is a bridal blogger, feeling pressure from family and fans, all anxious to see what she'll wear down the aisle. My name is Bridget, and I live in New York City. I am the founder of a blog called Black Bridal Bliss. You are making us a little bit nervous because <laughs> you're a bridal blogger. No pressure. I feel like there's a little bit of pressure on me as well. My audience all sort of expect me to have this big, fabulous wedding. Bridget is her own person. She always has been. I always said she dances to her own music. Tell us about your wedding. We decided to get married in Charlotte, which is where my mom lives. Our tentative theme is to bring New York to Charlotte. So there's going to be some old country charm, but a modern New York urban feel as well. We're Town and excited. country. Yes. Town and see? country wedding. Yep. So Bridget, you look at dresses day in and day out. What do you see for yourself on your wedding day? And I do want a sexy gown. I don't want to look like a cupcake. 
I see sophisticated, modern, but at the same time, timeless. I do know a lot about bridal fashion, but at the end of the day, I still have the same concerns that any other bride would have. You're going to have to look in the mirror and have a moment. Yes. And when you have that moment, you're going to know. And that's what every bride says. Tell us about your fiancé. His name is Anthony. Look, you're lighting up. <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty dang awesome. We've dated on and off for 11 years. I'm excited because we truly have become each other's best friend. And Anthony actually proposed to me at my father's gravesite. My father and I were very close. He passed away in 1990. He would have wanted me to have the best wedding that he could afford. He would have wanted it done right. Odie, tell us about your wedding day. I always say I didn't have a wedding day. I got married in the minister's home. Very small, but very special. My husband passed away right at that 24th wedding anniversary. I would love for her to have a wedding that I didn't have. How do you think your husband would feel seeing her walk down the aisle with your dress made into a new dress? Oh, my goodness. Oh, <laughs> he would be so happy. I know he would. His baby girl. Is there a little pressure to wear this dress? I'm already feeling like this is going to be a really hard decision. <laughs> have you tried it on? I haven't. How do you feel about this dress? It's a lovely uh, ensemble. I don't think anyone would look at it and say wedding gown <laughs> or bride. I can't wait to see this ensemble. Shall we bring it out? Yes, yeah, let's it, see the it. dress. Let's see Odie's legacy. Ta-da! Oh, oh, it's pretty. Oh, wow. While lovely, no one would ever describe mom's daytime ensemble as a wedding gown. Does exactly. this say gown? This dress is not a wedding dress, and it's definitely not for a young bride. It's 45 years old. It looks damn good it for was... 45 years old. <laughs> Are you ready to potentially wear this as your wedding dress? As it is right now, my mother's wedding dress is absolutely something that I would not wear. Sorry, Mom. I don't see wedding dress, and I'm secretly very happy about that because that means more challenge for this one. Well, I say go, Kelly, go. I'll see you guys a little bit later. We're going to do some shopping, trying some beautiful dresses, OK? OK, okay. Bye, Bye. thank you. Bye. Mom is excited to see Bridget in her dress and hopes that Kelly can turn it into the gown her daughter is dreaming of. Bridget, show us your mom's dress. <laughs> Here I am. Oh. <laughs> Here it is. Oh. I think I look like that in it. <laughs> 45 years ago. Really? Yes. Oh, I can't believe it. She looks stunning. I can't imagine her looking better than anything else. Kelly, I can't wait to see how you transform this. It's a really cool piece. Now, I want you to look in the mirror, and I want you to go over your vision. I do like the fabric, but then, as I mentioned, I want, like, a sexy feminine factor, and this doesn't read that. Not at all. Right. <laughs> I really don't know if Kelly can turn it into something I want to wear. The shift dress does nothing for Bridget's curves, but Kelly has big plans. You will be New York City. <laughs> the setting will be North Carolina. Gotcha. Absolutely. So my mind immediately goes to regal, sexy, but still simple. Yep. So for this, I definitely see strapless. And what I want to do is use this fabric to create a corset. Oh. And then... It'd be more of an, a modified mermaid, because mm -hmm. with a true mermaid, it's hard to walk, it's hard to dance, you can I enjoy yourself. I need to be able to dance at my reception. Yes. Bridget needs a gown, and I believe that Kelly can turn this into Bridget's dream dress. This dress is all about the fabric and the fit. Okay. <laughs> Girl, when you're young and you got a booty, you got to show it. I know Bridget is feeling the pressure because she is a bridal blogger but I'm gonna make her a dress that she and her readers are gonna love. Take the jacket off to me. I wanna point out a few things that I can do with the dress. The main thing we gotta do is we gotta get rid of these straps. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Gone. Oh, wow. already. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I never knew it would look like this. Wow. I did not see that coming at all. Immediately, the dress did a 180. It just needs a little love. That's all. I'm already liking the direction this is going in. Wow. And all this time, all you had to do was cut the straps <laughs> off that dress and take it in a little bit. No turning back now. Coming up, 
Sam finds a dress that just might take the cake. I thought I would look like a cupcake, but this is good cupcake. I'm not crazy about that dress. While Kelly tries to sew her way out of trouble. I have to take a dress that you would wear to church on Sunday and turn it into a dress you would wear to church on your wedding day. thing about improvement, once you get started, it just never stops. Lowe's, never stop improving. From silver screens to flat screens, Twizzler has your entertainment every day with Twizzlers, the twist you can't resist. When your eyes look this beautiful, this young, so do you. New Advanced Night Repair, the first youth infusion for eyes from Estee Lauder. Inspired by DNA research with advanced anti-pollution technology. See a dramatic reduction in the look of every key sign of aging. Eyes look luminous, younger. Advanced Night Repair Serum and new eye serum infusion, only from Estee Lauder. Now at Macy's, your skincare destination. No one here. I will not lose you. The host, rated PG-13. Farmers presents 15 seconds of smart. So you want to drive more safely. Stop eating. Take deep breaths. Avoid bad weather. Get eight hours. Turn it down. And of course, talk to farmers. Hi. Hi. We are farmers. Bum, ba, da, bum, 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 bum. I know taxes, the ins and outs, and how to get things done. You can bring me any tax problem, and I will deal with it. You know, and we understand tax laws, tax theories. The more complicated, the better. Just bring it on. Next Friday. I want to look sexy. Southern and sexy, that doesn't go together. Then. It was her grandmother's dress, it's her mother's dress, it will be her dress. When it's out with the old. It does need some repair. And in with the new. I feel like a princess, but mom doesn't seem too impressed. How far will this mom go? She's got to pick my dress. But you don't want to lie to her. <laughs> I'll lie. I'll lie. Friday is Bride Day, starting at 8, only on TLC. What's up, guys? Sam's excited to shop with Bridget, a popular bridal blogger who has $3,500 to spend on the perfect gown. Who have you brought with you? A very uh, beautiful, chic entourage you have Thank here. Thank you. This is Aisha. Aisha. And nice to, nice meet, to you. meet you. Latressa. Latressa. Hi. Bridget and I met freshman year of high school. I don't see Bridget wearing a traditional dress, much like she did not wear a traditional dress to the prom. She actually wore a wedding dress to the prom. So tell me what you're looking for. Sophisticated, classy, and sexy. All right, you guys go have a seat and we're gonna look at some dresses. Okay. I have become a wedding insider. So my blog's audience expects me to wear the hottest wedding gown. The pressure is huge. What do you want to see her in? Not too much the princess stuff. Right. I want to see her kind of get a little sassy. I want to see her bring it. She's gonna bring it, she's gonna bring it. All right, entourage. Bridget's about to slap you with some fashion. Bridget, bring it. Come on, Bridget. Let's see it, let's see it. Oh my God. <laughs> Look how pretty, do you love it? I do. Bridget is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> this dress really delivers. It's got a lot of wrapping and ruching. It finds her curves. It has a fit and flare style with a dramatic train, a little sparkle at the belt. I think it's gorgeous. Bridget, you look yes. good. Yes. This dress is just Bridget all over. If my husband saw it, I know he would be so happy. Bridget wanted elegance. She wanted sexy. And I think this dress fits the bill. And I can do the wobble. <laughs> right, can you dance in it? My waist looks tiny in this dress. My body looks great. I feel like we can stop. Okay, I'm out. No, I'll see you guys no. later. Right. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, let's go try on another dress. Did you think it was sexy? It was beautiful. I want to do a cheer for her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm way too excited. Right. This is not my day, really Knowing there's a little princess in every bride, Sam takes a risk with his next pick. All right, ladies. This dress is very different, but I wanted you to see a different style. So, Bridget, please come out. the princess. This is a princess style dress that has a couture flavor to it. It's very 50s inspired. It's something special and different. Lots of texture on top. These are all rosettes and then it's beaded over. It is totally 180. Our agenda today was to pick a form-fitting sexy dress but then this one just threw everyone off. I don't know it's just too many ruffles down there. This dress is way too busy. I'm not crazy about that bow in the back. Because this has a lot of texture and it's, it's kind of thick on top, you need something to pull the waist in. I didn't fall in love with this one. I thought I would look like a cupcake, but this is good cupcake. This is chic <laughs> cupcake. It's just a fly dress. <laughs> oh gosh. Bridget values her own opinion more than she values anyone's opinion. Is it sexy enough for you? It is. This is sexy That's there. Because of that whole this dress just really took my breath away. As Sam pointed out, sometimes the dress chooses you. With Sam's spectacular dress picks, Bridget is going to be a tough bride to win over. But Kelly is up for the challenge. To get this dress ready for a city country wedding, I'm going to make a top that's ready for the runway and a bottom that's ready for Scarlett O'Hara. Because this is a short dress, I have to add a coordinating fabric at the bottom. Since Bridget and I both love fashion, our visions are very similar. I chose this fabric with the ribbon rosettes because it really mirrors the pattern on the original fabric. This dress is going to be sexy. Her fiancé's tongue is going to be on the floor. All right, Entourage, this dress is sleek, it's sexy. Bridget, come on out. Chill. Very elegant. I gotta chill. I Very think that's elegant. it. This is what's missing. Put a bling on it. If you'll face the mirror there. And there Next we have it. It was a great fit before he put the belt on, but with the belt on, it just put icing on the cake. Let me tell you what I love about this dress. It's a fit and flare and a classic sweetheart style. The fabric wraps and ruches. Yes. It creates that line that we all love. And the movement is soft and full, but it's not overwhelming. You can dance in it. <laughs> we bring you some bling. You've got the drama of the train, but it's an easy dress. This dress is amazing. It looked like she was stepping out on stage almost. I like so this a lot, easy. Sam. This like might be my favorite. I, I get the fashion feel of it. It's all coming together. Sam impressed Bridget with three dresses worthy of her blog style page. Now, one of them is about to become her something new. You held it together, good. I did, I really did. Like I said, you know, I'm trying to hold back my tears. It's bittersweet. My husband's not able to witness this occasion, and I can't help thinking about this. All right. The dress you're about to see is potentially the dress that your daughter's going to walk down the aisle in. All right. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> Bridget, please come out and show us your something new. Uh, I hear me. I can't believe she picked that one. Oh, oh look at how pretty. This town and country bride went royal and chose the silk ball gown with rosette covered bodice. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. Pretty. Oh. I'm doing an ugly cry. <laughs> oh, it looks oh, so gosh. pretty. This makes 
so many other things seem real. Yeah. Before today, it didn't really seem real. Oh my gosh. While reality sets in for Bridget, Kelly is struggling with a reality of her own. My challenge with this dress is I have to take a dress that you would wear to church on Sunday and turn it into a dress you would wear to church on your wedding day. Oof. My brain is freaking out right now. What wedding dress comes with a jacket? Coming up. Bridget, please come out and near something borrowed. Woo! Sex to mama. No actual grandparents were harmed in the making of this film. Call me Artie. Can I call you Farty? Except him. Farty ready, please. Get parental guidance this Tuesday. We'll cause laughter, good times, and family fun. Nothing gets you going quite like the power of Quaker Oats. Today is going to be epic. Quaker up. As careful as we are, our carpets are going to get dirty. Even mine, and I'm part of the Bissell family. We have friends over, we let pets in, life's messy. But my carpets don't stay dirty for long. Our Bissell Deep Cleaner leaves carpets looking ten times cleaner than vacuuming alone. Plus, the Bissell Liftoff has a removable spot cleaner. The Liftoff Deep Cleaner from Bissell. Home to a deeper clean. Bissell Professional Deep Cleaning Formula with Scotch Guard Protector outcleans all other formulas. One little joint supplement. You know this powerful little pill is great for your joints, it's great for your cartilage. It even has powerful benefits to help increase your mobility and flexibility. But the joint supplements of today are sadly incomplete because they don't start relieving joint discomfort fast enough. Introducing the complimentary two-week sample of fast-acting Instaflex, our most powerful joint formula ever. The only thing our complimentary sample of Instaflex is missing is the price. Because right now, we're offering adults a complimentary two-week sample as part of a nationwide giveaway. Call and claim your sample today. 1-800-910-4928. Great for fast-acting relief of joint discomfort in your knees, hands, and even your hips. Instaflex is available at GNC, Vitamin World, and Rite Aid Pharmacies. But you can only get your complimentary two-week sample by calling 1-800-910-4928. Call now for your two-week Instaflex sample. 1-800-910-4928. Sunday. At first I thought Jared was just going to be something pretty to look at, but I kind of have a crush on him. Oh yeah. Love's blooming at the trailer park. Anne is the most beautiful girl, woman, and Myrtle man. But not for everyone. Amanda is a drunken idiot. As much as you don't like being around us, we don't like being around you. Look at her. Bring it. All new, welcome to Myrtle Manor. Sunday at 10 on TLC. Channeling her inner princess, Bridget chose a silk taffeta ball gown as her something new. Oh, look at How her! Pretty. But will she abdicate once she sees what Kelly's created? While you guys were off shopping, I was sewing my little fingers off. And Bridget, I gotta tell you, I am so excited with what I've made. It is fit for a bridal blog. Oh. I think we should show them because I can't even okay. contain it anymore. All right. <laughs> All right. Odie. Your dress is, is coming. Are you ready? Yes, yes, I'm ready. I'm just waiting to see what Kelly's going to deliver. What do you think you're going to see? I'm nervous about it. In the back of my mind, I'm hoping and praying that this is not a total mess. I am so excited to show you guys what I've done. Mom, I have taken your 60s sleeveless shift dress and I've turned it into a dream for Bridget's wedding day. Bridget, please come out and near something oh borrowed. God. This is not true. This is a dream. I just can't believe what Kelly did to that dress. I didn't know what you were going to do, 
I just can't believe this is the same dress. The change is dramatic. A simple brocade shift has become a glamorous runway ready mermaid gown. It's so much brighter, but I love that it's still not stark white. And then I like the mix of the textures. When I first saw the dress, I gravitated to the fabric. I chose the rosette fabric because it complemented the original fabric and really mirrored the circle design. The entire structure on the inside is a built-in corset. Wow. On the back, we created covered buttons and then we yes. added the tons mm -hmm. of fabric and the tool underneath. Oh, the oh, buttons. Oh that my gosh. Is cute. The cost of remaking this dress, $475. Really? <laughs> Look at that shop. <laughs> this looks so modern, yes. but it still has a vintage mm -hmm. quality to it. It's very elegant. Wow. That's gorgeous. Yes. And it's sexy. <laughs> it looked like it was made for her. I love the color, and I love that I really see mom's dress. I mean, it is there right, front right, and center. Right, it's there, yeah. And your body looks great, and it's fantastic. I love it. I could not have imagined that that dress would look the way it did. And I love what it represents. I thought that I would be torn, but I didn't know I would be torn like this. The, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. If your dad were here today, Bridget, what do you think he would say to you? He had this, this thing like when he got excited or something was good and he would say, hot dog. <laughs> I can hear it now. Wow. Hot dog. <laughs> yeah. Aww. I'm such a daddy's girl and I couldn't imagine not having my father and she looks so pretty. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, you know I made you cry. <laughs> really looks beautiful. It looks it's, beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> it's just so much more than a dress. I have a very tough decision to make. I love Kelly's dress because my father would have been so happy to see me wearing my mom's wedding dress. I like my something new because it's different from what anyone is expecting me to wear. I just felt really pretty in the dress. I don't know what I'm gonna do. With two beautiful dresses, making a final decision is not going to be easy for Bridget. Coming up. I'm torn, I love both dresses. It's not an issue about what looks better. It's about how okay. you want to feel. We're styling and profiling. Sunday, a big fat TLC premiere. With all gypsy girls, it's like competition. Oh, my Lord. It's not easy marrying a gypsy. They're bigger. Push. Batter. You mess with my daddy, I'm ready to kill. Oh, I'll never be her mother in law. And Sunday, they're back. Oh. You're a gypsy and I'm a gypsy, and I love you. Anything can happen tonight. The Big Fat American Gypsy premiere starts Sunday at 8 on TLC. They can see the sad in my heart. It's the space that you hold. Show, Show me how to fight for now. And I'll tell you, Whoa. baby, it, it was, was easy. Yeah, that you sounds good. Don't, don't look at me. Don't you look at don't me. Look at me. Don't, look at me. <laughs> don't look at me. There's only one place to get more JT. What did the New York Deli guy say about Arby's Reuben before he tried get it? Get out of here! And after? I think I'll have another bite. Arby's New York Style Reuben. Freshly sliced corned beef, sauerkraut, and Swiss cheese on rye. Or make it a double stack with twice the corned beef for your choice of turkey. Arby's. Slice it up freshness! <gasps> that is super cute, right? Look at that one. No, no, I mean on the other side. No, over on the... Uh, this would be so much easier if I could point. <laughs> Find what speaks to you at PierOne.com. Find what speaks to you at PierOne.com. I used to find Easter challenging, but now I go to Payless. They have all the latest styles, always at great prices. They even measure my kids' feet. Save more at the Payless Family Easter Sale. Women starting at only $14.99, kids $9.99. Everybody loves to pay less. I don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble either. You know you forgot to take your mask off, right? Introducing the all-new Beetle Convertible. 
Now every day is a top-down day. That's the power of German engineering. Thursday, April 4th. It is the worst tattoo I've ever seen. I lost a bag. I need to fix it or rip off my leg. You have a new tattoo. America's Worst Tattoos premieres Thursday, April 4th at 9 on TLC. Wednesday, April 3rd. I'm crazy obsessed about my rats. Their passion. I do eat, breathe, and sleep mermaids. Is to the extreme. The season premiere of My Crazy Obsession. Wednesday, April 3rd at 10, only on TLC. Kelly and Sam have made this bridal blogger's life very difficult. It's just so much more than a dress. By presenting her with two stunning gowns. I thought that I would be torn, but I didn't know I would be torn like this. You look like a dream, and no matter what you choose, it's going to be perfect. Thank you. So we're going to send you back to our dressing room so you can decide. Okay. While it's a good problem to have, choosing between the two gorgeous dresses won't be easy. Oh. <sighs> Bridget clearly seemed torn before she left. What do you think is going through her mind right now? Decision, decision, decision. <laughs> Why me? Why me? <laughs> yeah. She's probably back there fighting with herself. You know, flip a coin, do I, don't I? I'm torn. I love both dresses. The Something Borrowed really plays up my curves. I really like the fabric. It really does look like it was made for me. And then my something new, it's fashion forward, but also timeless. It's sophisticated. I just feel great in it. Hey! How are you feeling? Very confused. Okay. <laughs> I feel like a bride in both, but when I saw myself in this gown, it was almost like a little light was shining on me. Did you see me. Brides Magazine on the top of it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And what did you feel when you tried this one? I immediately thought about my mother. She wore the same exactly. dress. Exactly. It's not an issue about what looks better. It's about how you're going to feel. Okay, so. enough, enough, <laughs> enough, because I'm about to start crying. Okay. Thank you, Tress. You helped me so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Good luck. Bye. <laughs> as close as I was to my dad, I'm not exactly sure which one he would be rooting for. I'm just going to have to go with that gut and decide for myself. <sighs> All right, so we finally reached that moment, and the suspense is killing me. I don't know about you guys. Yes. yes. Did Bridget choose something borrowed? Or is she going to choose something new? <laughs>